in fishing. There's the hunt for big bass. There's the camaraderie. Then there's the story. What's your story? Yes, Monroe, man, I can't believe it. I got you out here in this beautiful Florida weather. Yeah, you're home, you're home. Yeah, man, I love it, man. So, uh, what do you think of Florida? You like coming here? Is this one of your fun lakes, or it's a, you got a preference for a different lake? Or? You know, the whole Kissimmee chain's pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, I've got some really good memories. Is You know, it's a bad ones, obviously, sure, from, from the sure. first couple of times of coming out here from California and not really understanding it. And, right. You know, first time I came out here, really didn't catch them because it's mm. so flat. Sure. You know, being from California, we're used to contours and mm -hmm. seeing bottom and stuff. And here, it's just like, man, this water's black and <laughs> it's just flat for yeah. days. So. Yeah, you're right. But got it? No, no. After a while, you know, you start fishing it, you start learning how these fish relate. And, uh -huh. you know, he coming does. down here, I uh -huh. actually uh, won a tournament down here in Florida. Wow. Okay. So. That oh, gets me. you gets won me. a big one. Yeah. On Okeechobee. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, from what I remember, that's where uh, the big fish uh, <laughs> brand name came from. Yeah. Big fish ish. In the oh, house. yeah. I'm I mean, going to need your feet in. Oh, sorry. Oh, you good? By one of the best flipping bites I've ever been on in my entire life. Really? I weighed 108 pounds over the course of four days. I caught two 30 pound bags flipping. That's incredible, man, just to think of. 108 pounds of fish and for the folks that don't really understand how bass fishing works in the tournament series that's over a four-day period catching five bass a day right and you had over a hundred pounds man oh yeah it's... and as a matter of fact uh one of the uh times that i remember watching you that i really enjoyed was uh on amistad <laughs> that was a good tournament too that was man you were in beast mode then. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's still though. Still, I, I weighed more at that Okeechobee tournament than I did in that one. But wow. I did, I did in that tournament actually caught a nine pounder three days in a row. Good night. And uh, had an opportunity at the biggest fish I've ever had in a tournament, and probably between 14 and 16 pounds, and she came off twice. That's amazing. I remember you were. You, you had you were on some bad fish. Oh yeah, the big tube. Mm. Now does that uh, kind of remind you of any uh, lakes in? Uh, I'm a Yeah, it's a combination of several different lakes mm -hmm. at home. It's kind of like the Delta Clear Lake mm -hmm. and Shasta all wrapped up in one. It had that gin clear water. Okay. That Shasta has and. It just had the shallow fish that the Delta has and the grass that Clear Lake has in it and uh -huh. and them fish really. So is that your preference? You like Clear Lakes or you like uh I like any lake. It's got bass you. in it. You know? You I I do like Florida lakes a lot. I've uh sure. come a couple patterns on some of these lakes that a lot of guys don't throw. Uh -huh. You know, and do real well. Okay. But once again, I always still get to go back to the roots and that's the flipping stick in hand. Man, you guys in California with a flipping stick. Man, y'all are at a whole different level, man. Now, we flip here in Florida. See, what people don't fail to realize is we invented flipping. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, D. Thomas, oh, Dave right. Gleeby. Yes. Them guys are from California. Them are the original grandfathers of flipping. And mm. it's funny, I just saw Dave at Bass Pro Shops couple days ago and uh -huh. yeah he telling the old stories as usual For real? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> wow and what what was the thought process when they figured out that this flipping thing works well for those guys what it was is they had a a technique called tule dipping okay and I think it started down south it was like crappie fishing where they had these 12 14 16 foot bamboo rods and they just stick them out there and they dip it uh. in the water and they used to have that 
you know, 80 pound Dacron line yeah. on there and a jig and they just started dropping it in places that you could, normally couldn't get your boat and catching all these five and six pound bass. Mm. Well, Bassmasters came up with a rule that you could only have rods that were eight feet and shorter. Ah, uh, that's so where that came from. D decided he had to figure out a way to uh, figure out something to do with that and so he came up with flipping. Wow. And when he did that, once again, back in beast mode, <laughs> he ends up winning on Beaver Lake of all places. Of all the places. The first, first tournament he ever fished, you what know, flipping. flipping with a flipping stick. Wow. Is he still fishing today? Yeah, oh God, he's out still there with fishing. oxygen mask and a <laughs> rail in his boat so he can get up on the front deck in a he's seat and still, still doing, doing it. And, and that's and pretty, thing, And man. still winning. Oh. <laughs> and still winning tournaments. And see, we have evolved flipping into pitching more so nowadays. Sure, sure. D still old school flipping, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. Grabs the line between the hand, sure. like so. It's funny you watch guys like Gary Klein, who you know grew up with D as well, and mm -hmm. you know he still does the old flipping technique like that. And wow, just places the bait in the water. And it's just a soft little soft presentation yeah. is putting it in their house. Mm. And what do you say to a guy that, a person that's really not a flipper, but they want to learn, how would you say, because it, it takes a little bit of patience, what would you say is your recommendation to get them? Well, my mom would have to disagree with me on this, but I tell you to stand up on your couch. That's what I did when I was a kid. And I got me a, I got me a bucket. Uh -huh. And I would sit there on top of the couch like I was in a Bassmaster tournament, <laughs> and I'd be up there learning the pendulum swing <laughs> right into that cup or that wow. bucket. And yeah, moms, moms catch me every once in a while. Boy, I was in trouble for standing on that couch. <laughs> we know how you that know, goes, man. Few, few times I hooked the cat. Oh, <laughs> put a couple of marks in the wall. You know, you don't do that to moms' walls. Oh. She, yeah. So between standing on the couch, yeah. And putting marks in walls, yeah, I, I got in trouble a little bit, but uh, it was definitely, wow. you know, bred into something that being one of the best flippers in the country now, mm. that's uh, helped me out. But that's what you do, you just get out there and stand on something that's uh, mm. pretty sturdy, mm -hmm. find your cup, mm -hmm. bucket, and just keep, start out short distances right here and keep pushing away further and further and further. What's your story?